hello students today we will be discussing about the beneficial bacteria and the harmful bacteria or the different ways in which the bacteria are helpful for us and even the different ways in which the bacteria are harming or are uh, creating problems for us uh, when we talk about uh, importance of bacteria we all know bacteria are very very important when we talk about certain food products like uh, cheese and uh, curd uh, or we may even uh, take the examples of the vaccines and the antibiotics uh, talk about nitrogen fixation all these uh, is not possible without bacteria but even bacteria are creating certain problems or certain bacteria are harmful for us they what are they doing they are responsible for certain diseases in human beings as well as in animals and these uh, bacteria also spoil food products so we are going to discuss all these things one by one first of all we, we will be discussing about the useful bacteria or the uses of the bacteria or the beneficial part of the bacteria useful bacteria now when we talk about useful bacteria the first which we can count upon is the vaccines so first is or we will be discussing first of all about vaccines what is the meaning of vaccines we all know that for certain to prevent ourselves to prevent ourselves from certain diseases like tuberculosis cholera uh, polio vaccines are given polio is again uh, prepared by certain other uh, microorganism i'm just giving a general example that we use vaccines to prevent ourselves from certain diseases right now but what are these vaccines and how these vaccines are helpful for us so when we talk about vaccines actually the living organism uh like the humans or uh, take the example of the cattle the vaccines are given to the uh, maybe the human maybe the animals to prevent from certain diseases but what is vaccine vaccine is you know in this the weaker microorganisms or the dead microorganisms or the inactive microorganisms okay which either dead inactive or the weaker microorganisms are injected in the body now when these organisms are injected in the body then what will happen body will produce you know body will fight definitely body is going to fight with these microorganism when these body uh, when when the body sorry when the body fight with these microorganisms the you know the body develop a kind of uh, resistance part it produces antibodies the body produces antibodies and next time when the active or the stronger microorganism of the same kind attack the body now body won't be able to you know the microorganisms won't be able to attack the body because now antibodies are already produced in the body i'll explain this again i am talking about vaccines how does it work or what actually it is now suppose we are talking about a this is a human being now to this human being a vaccine has to be given now what actually vaccine will have it will have 
microorganism it will have microorganism so these microorganism will be injected in the body of this a but which kind of microorganisms will be there they will be either dead or weaker or inactive so these kind of this the microorganism won't be very strong won't be very, uh, very powerful so this features of the, the microorganism with these features will be injected in the body body a what is a consider it is a human being now when these microorganisms which are inactive or dead or they are not very strong are you know have these have entered in the body so what body will do definitely body is going to fight with these microorganism what body will do body will fight so resistance power will be developed actually what is happening over here now body in the body the antibodies are prepared developed actually this is a very vast topic vaccines antibiotic uh, antibiotics antibodies so uh, we are not supposed to discuss in detail over here so just giving a gist or uh, trying to explain you in short so antibodies will be developed in the body now when in future these kind of microorganism are uh, responsible for creating any disease say for example take the example of tuberculosis now in future when these stronger microbes try to enter the body of the a what a will do already antibodies are there the a the body the human being this particular person has developed the power to defeat these microorganisms and so in this way the organism prevent uh, i'm talking about this one so this organism or whatever human being or a what the name which we have given will be able to prevent himself from the disease this is how the vaccines and the serums are produced or developed so we'll just write about the vaccine before this i will talk little bit about the antibodies uh, antibiotics also now with the help of the bacteria only with the help of the bacteria why we are discussing about bacteria because we are talking about the useful bacteria or the beneficial part of the bacteria and so that is the reason i am talking only particularly about the bacteria now vaccine i have just explained now i will write also but before writing this i will talk uh, a bit about the second point also which is about the antibiotics what is antibiotics antibiotics take the example of the streptomycin okay take the example of the uh, chloromycetin what how it is many kind of uh, antibiotics are prepared from the bacteria and these antibiotics obviously helps us to fight with various diseases so now i will write about the vaccine and the antibiotics bacteria are used in the preparation of vaccines and serums okay and what is done inactive 
डेड और वीकर माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन दी बॉडी ओके नाउ व्हाट बॉडी विल डू दिस इज फर्स्ट पॉइंट दिस इज सेकेंड नाउ आई एम राइटिंग third point body fight with these microorganism or microbes and what will be produced and develops antibodies and in future the body is prevented protected from the these kind of microbes uh, disease create uh, causing microbes so this is about the vaccine now i will also write the example tuberculosis now we will talk about second point which is antibiotics we all have heard about the antibiotics we are familiar about the antibiotics because whenever we are not well may be suffering from fever or you know disease which we cannot uh, cure by ourselves and we have to visit to the doctor uh, maybe in case of any kind of infection we are given antibiotics and these antibiotics again are prepared by the bacteria for example uh, right first bacteria are used to prepare an antibiotic for example streptomycin chloromycetin now these are the uh, the name of antibiotics and we know there are many 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 antibiotics yes now we will move towards the third point or the third use of the bacteria or i can say the third uh ben the we are talking about the beneficial part and so the third one we are moving to now i will talk about agriculture now how bacteria are useful for agriculture definitely bacteria are very very useful for the agriculture first of all when we talk about uh see if you talk about any country any place on the earth daily hundreds of people uh, are dying isn't it and the one who are living they daily excrete that means lot and lot of uh, you know excreta is there on the surface of the earth just imagine how useful these bacteria are these bacteria convert these dead and decay matter into again soil again they convert they they form humus which is beneficial for us which is useful for the growth of the crops isn't it 
this bacteria even if we think of one day the bacteria won't work just imagine the condition because excreta is produced by each and living each and every living organism which is present on the surface of the earth so much of waste product is there and if it doesn't get converted then what and so the bacteria are very very useful so what do the bacteria do bacteria convert bacteria convert dead and decay matter back into soil and humus uh and you know the the uh, when this decay uh, and the dead uh, like you know the uh, these biodegradable material it gets decayed when the bacteria is work upon them even a gas many gases few gases comes out of that and out of these gases methane is very very useful for us talk about biogas plant talk about biogas plant biogas plant now what is this biogas plant children biogas plant is not a plant isn't it it's not a plant means i'm not talking about a normal plant actually uh you know how it is made a uh, pit is dug and it is covered it is you know uh, made uh, properly by the help of the bricks sometimes may be cemented but most of the time it is covered by the layer of the cow dung as we know in the villages still in few villages you will find that the houses are made by the that means on the wall of the walls or on the floor the cow dung is used the layer of the cow dung is uh, you know applied so the cow dung the walls are uh, you know on the walls the layer of the cow dung is applied inside this pit inside the pit of uh, i'm talking about biogas plant okay so inside this pit now uh, where the layer of the cow dung is done inside this pit lot of cow dung is uh, you know kept now along with that certain microorganisms they will develop themselves only but you know certain earth forms or certain kind of certain species are released also now whatever is left over means whatever biodegradable waste is there talk about the uh, residual material like which is left after the crop is harvested the remnants of the plants they can be added to that the leftover of the vegetables the excreta or the waste which comes out from the uh, you know uh, the farms maybe the urine of the cow the cow dung of the cow so obviously we are putting in that or uh, the eaten the whatever they are eating that part is some some part is left all these like whatever is biodegradable and is not useful for us can be uh, added to that now this will start decomposing this will start decaying what is the meaning of decaying and decomposing actually the bacteria start working on that bacteria release certain enzymes so that this material get converted into liquid and can be absorbed by them now when this material get broken up into smaller smaller particles then at this point what is what will happen the gases also comes out now out of this the methane is very important methane is very important as this methane gas is used 
as the uh, you know the domestic gas it is supplied through the pipelines and can be used as we are using the lpg liquid petroleum gas the ordinary gas which we are using at our homes so dual purpose uh, it solves actually now see this gas comes out whatever leftover is there whatever material is left it get converted actually what is left now it get converted into the uh, manure so whatever thing which is left now can be used as the manure we are talking about the useful part of the bacteria how bacteria are useful for the agriculture when we talk about agriculture bacteria plays very important role because bacteria are responsible for decomposition of the biodegradable material and when we talk about biogas plant what is there all the leftover all the unwanted biodegradable waste biodegradable substance can be poured into that now the gas it actually it has got two uh, you know the opening is also there and the the pipe is also there from the from where the gas comes out the gas can be collected and can be used as a domestic uh, gas which is known as biogas methane now along with that the manure the part which is left is used as the manure is used as the manure so dual purpose uh, it plays uh, it, it, it is useful in the uh, two ways we are getting manure also the gas also we are getting and actually three i should say because we are getting free of the uh, uh, read read of the you know the unwanted material what we are going to do with that the leftovers the remnants the uh, you know all biodegradable waste i'm talking about which is not useful for us so from this again the humus the manure the fertility of the soil um i sh i should say the fertility of the soil get increased so this is again a very very important part of the bacterias now we'll talk something about the biodegradable i'm talking i'm using this word again and again biodegradable bio degradable and one more word will be there which will be non biodegradable i'm not writing it completely non by there is no place i'm using this word biodegradable again and again now what is the meaning of biodegradable and what is the meaning of non biodegradable bio means life degradable means which can be decayed De which can get decomposed which can be broken up into smaller particles take the example of a polythene you take one polythene and you know dig it a little bit uh, dig a dig a little you uh, know small hole and keep the polythene into that and cover it with the soil again and uh, cow dung take the other example of the cow dung keep it as it is don't do even anything after one month if you try to take out that polythen again you will find that polythen is same it is not converted into anything it is not converted into anything but you will find that the cow dung will be reduced now okay it may be present may not be present or if it is present only certain part of that cow dung will be left where it has gone and why polythen has not disappeared polythen has not disappeared because it is not a biodegradable substance that means it can not be divided into uh, you know it can not be converted into soil it cannot be converted into humus but the things which are you know the the living things living things with the part um, the things which are the part of the living things or once they were living thing are you getting my point take the example of the banana peel or the banana 
take the example of the vegetables that means the thing was the part of living organism plant was living once now it is dead talk about the dead bodies dead body was once living take the fruit it was the part of a living uh, plant once so whatever which was uh, which was alive once which had life once will convert into soil which will convert into humus will convert will become the part of the nature once again but there are certain materials take the example of the polythene take the example of the rubber or uh, especially about the artificial one and take the example of the thermocol these things won't be able to no it the, all this will not be converted into soil even if you keep them for months and months so biodegradable means what the substance which will get converted into soil again which will get decomposed which will get decayed non biodegradable means which won't be which will which we won't be able to or which will not convert into soil that is the meaning of non biodegradable substance now why this gas comes out why this gas comes out or why any gas gas comes out when the bacteria works upon that because the bacteria is are breaking the substance into smaller smaller part in the this process the gases are released now we'll talk about the difference about decay and petrification uh for that i'll have to clean this board but till now we have discussed about the vaccines and the antibiotics when we talk about vaccines the living or uh, if it is living then weaker one weaker dead my or inactive microorganisms are allowed to be in the body now when the microbes okay when the disease causing bacteria when the disease causing microorganisms enter the body the body will fight with them the body will fight take the example of the tuberculosis if the tuberculosis vaccine is given to a person uh, means it has what it has got inactive dead or weaker microorganisms now when this entered into the body of a person now body will try to fight and defeat them and in this course the body will develop the resistance the body will produce antibodies now when the real microorganisms real in the sense the stronger one tries to attack the body they won't be able to do so because the antibody bodies are already prepared the body has developed the resistance part to defeat these microbes this is about the vaccines when we talk about the antibiotics antibiotics are what antibiotics again uh we can say that many bacteria are useful to uh make antibiotics now take the example of the streptomycin again it is an antibiotic and very very useful third point we were discussing about the agriculture but it is not completed uh, it is left and so i'll be continuing after the cleaning of the board so please uh, note these points and we will be discussing we'll be continuing about the agriculture